Welcome along guys. Well I'm a very lucky boy because those lovely people at Wheels Motorcycles in Peterborough have actually lent me their ZX6R demonstrator for 10 days so I can bring you some in-depth reviews on this bike. At the NEC Motorcycle Live show when I saw the updated 2019 version of the ZX6R I was really excited about it. It's a six, 600, 636cc 600 class <laughs> but it's actually a decent sized motorcycle so I'm gonna go out for a little spin on this this bike is unfortunately brand new with only 28 miles on the clock so I'm gonna have to take it a little bit easy in this review to put a few more miles on it before we unleash it but stick around with me let's take it out for a spin This is the first time I've ridden it. Um, I can tell you straight away, it is relatively comfortable. It's not quite as comfortable as my GSX-R, which I think is the most comfortable sports bike I've ever tried, but this is pretty good. The footrests are not too high. You're not lent over too much. I mean, I'm 6'2", so I'm a big guy. <laughs> so, you know, a 600, you would think, would not be my ideal size bike, but you know what, this is, this is pretty comfortable. One thing the ZX6R does have for this year, one of the new updates, is a quick shifter. Seems straight off the bat, seems pretty good. It's only a quick shifter up, it's not a blipper, but it's a love. I think every bike needs a quick shifter, especially a, especially a, you know super sports sports bike like this. So with the 600, obviously the biggest thing you're going to be missing when you get off a litre bike is the torque. And I tell you what, this has much more torque than I thought it was going to. I don't think it's like the R6, which is very, very peaky, not much torque. This actually has a decent amount of bottom end. Quite a surprising amount of bottom end. I think what Kawasaki have done, they've changed the gearing for this year and basically dropped a tooth at the front which is what I always recommend is a great mod if you do have a sports boy, just to liven it up a little bit. And with that modification, torque-wise, certainly at lower speeds, it seems absolutely fine. This bike weighs 196 kilos wet, so it's relatively light. Oh, it hasn't got a blipper. <laughs> I must remember that before I start knocking it down through the box. This has also got the uh, the optional Akropovich, but it has got the little baffle in, so it's not particularly loud this bike. Another nice addition for this year, this actually has the new Bridgestone S22 tyres on it, which is the first time I've ever tried them. It's a tyre I'm quite excited about because I'm a big fan of the S21. This is the new version, the S22, so I'm going to be really interested to see what that's like because now that, that's a decent tyre, that's not a budget tyre. The first impressions of the bike, it is a lovely, lovely bit of kit and the best thing about this bike is it's nine and a half grand, nine and a half thousand pounds and you wouldn't think so looking at the fit and finish. That's the first thing which impressed me the most. The fit and finish of this bike is lovely. Quick shifter, it's buttery smooth. Very, very nice. A new thing for this year is it's also now got a fuel gauge. Why every bike doesn't have a fuel gauge, I don't know, but it's got a fuel gauge, including a range countdown. So how many miles until you're empty? It's a tiny little bit snatchy, tiny little bit on and off the throttle tiny little bit of hesitation as you as you give it very fine throttle inputs it's a real sporty position but relatively comfortable it really eggs you on you know it's really come on give it to me well I will take this is to my favorite stretch of road for testing our handling we may be running it in <laughs> but we can still check it through some corners it's got Showa big piston forks. Um, now these are a the slightly updated version for this year. Power-wise, Kawasaki claim 130 brake, 130 PS is what they claim, which is about 128 brake horsepower at the crank. 
there's no changes to the performance for this year, it's the same engine. And I think these, oh god I shit in the road, these Dyna are at a good sort of 115 at the back wheel. So I think that 130, 128 brake Kawasaki claim is actually pretty accurate. We'll see when we open it up if the arse dyno confirms. A blipper would be nice. You come up to a bend, I just want to bang it down with a blipper. Can't do that. I really want to. Come on, Mr. Fire and Security. Let's be having you. So much more torque than I thought there would be for a 600. I think it's got 70 newton metres of torque. And it's plenty, you know. Such a compliant ride from that suspension. This is a bumpy road, this. A very, very bumpy section of road. And the suspension is just lapping it up. I'm not getting hammered, I'm not getting thrown out of the seat. Very compliant. Which is what you want for a road bike. Once I can open this up and I've got a few more miles on it. I think it's going to be a weapon, you know. It's got the torque, and that was all I was worried about. Would it have enough torque? Would it become a pain to ride because you'd have to just keep opening up all the time? And it's not. With that gearing change, with that drop in the tooth at the front, it's made it much more urgent. And the brakes are just fantastic. I wonder if a blipper is an option because it would be stonking with a blipper. Quick shifter, buttery smooth. Love that. I'm getting a little bit of weight on my wrists, even at doing sort of 60 down those back lanes. It, you, are, you are pushed forward a little bit onto your arms. More so than my GSX-R. My GSX-R is more comfortable than this. But this is a 600, you know, this... Even though this looks like a, a physically big bike, I'm sure there's not much different difference in physical size between this and my GSX-R. I'll push them out later on and put them next to each other and we'll see, we compare them for size, but... It looks like a similar sized bike, but it does feel a tiny bit more cramped to ride, I think, if you're... If you're six foot plus. It's fine but not quite as comfortable as a GSX-R. I can't see any compromises. Normally with a bike, you know, at this sort of price range, there's compromises, but I honestly can't see any compromises with this bike. Right, I'll tell you what we do. Let's pull over. Have a little look, skis. Let's bang it here. Do -do 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 -do. I got myself a new camera, got myself an Osmo Pocket to do some uh, 4K off the bike <laughs> recording, let me get it. So there she be in all of her glory. It's the same frame and same swinging arm as last year's model. I do like the new headlights and everything, I think they look really nice. I know there's been a lot of criticism, people saying, oh god it looks horrible but what is wrong with those? LED beauties, let's turn them on. Look at those. Look at those beauties. That's got, that's the Aklopovich. Oh, it's got a nice little pop. Do like a pop ski, but I, I think it's nice. Love the styling, love the looks. I actually like it in this black as well. I think I actually prefer this black colour to the uh, the black and green one they do. I like the looks, I like the way it rides. Just got to wait till I run it in to see what the top end's like. But of 130 brake, it should be all you need really. This one has got the EvoTech crash protection on it. I think that's also the EV EvoTech exhaust hanger. So if you want to borrow this bike, it'll be back at Wheels Motorcycles in a little while, go and ride it for yourself. So much torque! Oh, I could just tell you it wants to take off. About seven grand, it absolutely wants to take off. Oh, I can't wait till it's running! Oh, blipper, why doesn't it have a blipper? Mm -hmm. 
it's absolutely gorgeous actually and to think this bike is under 10 grand and the quality of components and everything for a, a sub 10k bike there doesn't seem to be any cost cutting anywhere it's also got a slipper clutch which is amazing sub 10k bike with a with a standard slipper clutch I'm impressed. I can't wait to get a few more miles on it, open it up and let's see what it can really do. I can't wait! Chuck a little bumpy section of road at it. stable you know not nervous feeling at all just takes the bumps predictable absolutely spot on Bike. <laughs> I can tell that it's going to absolutely sing. There's some lovely noises coming from the airbox as you start to open it up a little bit. I think next ride, when I get past 100 or so miles, I'm going to start giving it a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait! I can't wait! So massive, massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles for lending me this bike. Show them some love guys because there's options to buy other stuff here. So have a look at their site. If you're looking to buy a bike, as I say, multi-franchise, Honda, Aprilia, Kawasaki, uh, Mutt, Vespa, Moto Guzzi, and I think there could even be some others I've forgotten. So have a look on their site they've got some amazing deals and see what other bikes they've got because they've also said i can borrow their used press fleet as well so any of their used bikes they've got a few r1s and stuff which i'd like to try so have a look at their site see what used stock they've got let me know what you like to buy and that's it all right guys well thanks very much give me a like if you want to see more of the zx6r there will be a couple more videos coming once i've got a few more miles on it got it running we can give it some beans and we can really see what it's like so subscribe stick around and i'll catch you later this is power level one which is full power Check it out, man. This thing is absolutely bonkers. <laughs>